That's it for drafting your content. You should feel comfortable using your own creative process to effectively and completely outline a topic. Then, taking the notes from your organizing process, understand how and why to storyboard content before you record, including chunking your topic in a way that suits the content and your institution, and coming up with an understandable script. This, of course, includes the ethical sourcing and attribution of visual elements and building in consistency, accessibility, and usability into your draft. Now it's your turn to try it. Your assignment for week two is to draft your own content for up to five minutes of multimedia content using a tool you've chosen. This is your chance to try scripting, storyboarding, chunking, finding visuals, and planning for accessibility and usability in real content you will create. In week three, you'll pick tools for recording, and in week four, you'll record this content using a tool you chose. If you intend to include multimedia content in your capstone project, try planning content for that end goal. Or, if you aren't including multimedia content in your capstone, not ready to begin scripting, or not completing a capstone project, try planning this content as a demonstration of a tool, website, or database you teach people how to use already. It could be a task, like how to attach something to an email. That's it. See you in week three. This program has been a collaboration between the South Central Regional Library Council, the Empire State Library Network, and the School of Information Studies at Syracuse University. It was made possible thanks to a grant from the Institute of Museum and Library Services.